I figured it's about time for me to step up my level of crazy. <laughs> I've been planning on doing this for a while. Um, since I have the rear bumper off the car waiting for the exhaust uh, to come, uh, I figure I would uh, remove this, the, the, the fan panel and polish this out. There's some water spots, um, there's some scratches, probably from them. I'm, I'm guessing they took this, this cover off when, we, when they did the, uh, mo the engine swap because um, the 2014s, of course, got, got new motors um, because of the, whatever the, I guess it was the crank that was shearing or something like that. I'm sure someone will correct me. So I'm going to pull, show you this video, pull some of this stuff off, get it out of the way, and just polish this out. Um, I doubt it's going to need anything. Well, I might have G400 and then, then finish polish it. It really doesn't matter all that much. Let's see if this... Yeah, I can... I'm not going to get in here anyway. Um, but let's, uh, let's dial this in. I, you know, if something like this, this is all carbon fiber or something like this, I just think it's cool. So um, I'm going to auto scrub it. There's still some dirt on here. First, I'm going to clean it out and just sort of take you through that process so you, can, so you can see what I'm doing. All right, let's move the camera so we can see. My focusing skills these last few weeks haven't been very good. I thought I had this figured out. Um, I need to just get a darn video camera. Using a digital SLR is awesome. Problem is, is that, you know, because it has a great depth of field, but it just doesn't, it makes it so much harder to try to capture video. It's been a while since I've taken one of these off. I think this, the fans come off with it. Oh yeah, they come out. So up and then out. There's a little plug. I think some of you guys that watch the channel were shocked to see me take the rear bumper off and do the exhaust. You guys thought I was a pansy. I do have some mechanical skills. But you know, what can, you don't really need to have that many mechanical or that much mechanical skills. So there's the fan assembly, real simple to take off. You don't need a whole heck of a lot of mechanical skills if you own 2015 cars. Okay, so I'll leave that piece on there. So at least I got, I'll tape this off. Let's first clean this out. Use my new fancy waterless wash towels. Grab some waterless wash here. Just kind of spray this out. Again, you don't want to scratch up clear coat. This says clear coat just like anything. Don't start heavy buffing. Just let the towel do, do the work. You don't need to Get super aggressive here. I just mainly want to get the dirt out of here and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna clay this. It'd be easier to get the clay in here than it will be to auto try to auto scrub this. Actually this one just pops off too. There we go. The other one's screwed on, so I'm not gonna worry about removing that with the, some more pieces. Oh, and then here. Let's see what you guys are seeing here. Let's get really crazy and clean this out. This is just a make you feel good area. Just clean that out. Oh. 
Told you guys, we're gonna step up our level of crazy here today. Anytime you got the car apart, take an opportunity to clean out some spots that otherwise wouldn't normally be accessible. Okay, so that's reasonably clean. Now let's decontaminate it. I think you guys can see this stuff okay. So I'm gonna grab a piece of clay. Grab some, some ONR. Optimum no rinse, looted I think eight to one. Soak it down. I mean the clay might take off some of the water spots and things that are on here. You know what happens is you, and I always wipe this out, but water sits in here and then leaves little water spots. You know, since this is pretty stinking cool fi carbon fiber, I figure why not make it look nice? It's gonna take us a few minutes to do this. You can see some, if you guys can see that, but there's quite a bit of dirt on the clay. It's one of those spots that I just haven't, haven't treated yet. So I'm gonna put, I'll probably just put some Sonax polymer net shield on this. Whatever reason, I like using that on the door jams. So we'll use it here, yeah, there's some dirt. Should be nice and clean now. Using my new detail spray rags. Okay. I'm going to leave these little clips on here. You could easily take them off, but I'm going to leave them in there. You really can't see this part anyway. All right. So let's check it with a light. Actually, the Looks like a lot of the water spots came out with the clay, so they weren't really etched. They were just, just dirty. Get the bottle of this wash out of here. I'm about to mention something here that's gonna, some of you college guys or high school guys that watch this stuff, it's, your head is gonna explode. But this is a Fenix, T35 Ultra Edition that I just got my second one because my son lost my first one. I think this thing's like 160 bucks. I was so mad. I used to let him play with it. And uh, oh yeah, this thing's all swirled out. I'm gonna FG400 this. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to capture this with the camera, but I mean, there is clear coat on, a, on the carbon fiber, just like anything, so you can correct it out. So, 
So what I'm doing here is you just take the light and kind of find an angle where you can kind of see the grain of the, it's hard with carbon fiber because the grain kind of reflects weird, but you know, in regular paint you can see, if you hold the light, it also helps if you have a dark room. Anyway, my son lost this thing and it's awesome, super bright, it's like, it's like 1800 lumens or something like that. But he lost it, so I had to buy a new one, and I just got it again. So now let's tape this off. This is Scotch uh, 233 Plus. This is a um, automotive. This is the stuff you would use if you were like a uh, you know body shop, and you were you know, masking off cars. Again, with taping, you're better off over taping than under taping. Oops. Let's get this over here. I'm not gonna get that far in the corner anyway. Keep polish out of these holes. I'm just going to put a piece of tape over them. And this plate, this part is covered anyway, so can't see it. But If you were really crazy, you would just take this whole piece off the car. I'm not quite that crazy. You know, it looks like this aluminum piece, actually it's plastic. It's just, uh, glued on there, or just a little stick on there, so I don't want to take that off. But this is, looks like it's just, I'll just run the FG400 right over the top of that. I hope it doesn't screw anything up. I think it'll be all right. You know what, let's just do this. Rather than taping it, just throw some towels under here. Just because polish and black plastic don't go well together. It's just easier to cover it up than it is to try to clean it off later. Just grab some of my dirty towels from behind here and cover that up. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Should have just been smarter and done that from the beginning. And I'm going to use my little mini. The Rupes mini. Use this. Let me get this set up and I'll come back to you. All right, got my FG400 out, got my Rupes mini. Shake this up. So you got a microfiber, a Meguiar's microfiber cutting pad. This is a, you know, just a microfiber, just agitate the microfiber, just kind of, and this is a, I don't even know if I've ever even used this pad, so it's probably brand new. And I want to tape this one last section here. Let me see, do I want to just take these off? Yeah, let me just take these off. <clears throat> Theoretically. It's like a little bit of sticky on there. <clears throat> there we go.
I never made a line on this. Make sure we're actually recording, yeah. Make a line on the backing plate, make sure it's rotating. Otherwise, again, it won't do anything. It won't be doing anything. FG400, turn it to setting four. We'll just do this in two sections. Spread it around. Be careful of this lip here if you have a DD3. All right, I'm gonna come up to six. Find a little pressure. Too hard to get. Not messing anything up. Well, I think I may have just learned a lesson on this uh, on camera. I don't think this is polishable. jack that up so I'm gonna be ordering a new piece <laughs> I should have known the plastic got too hot yep I'm sure that's 200 bucks well so much for making everything nicer. Just jack this piece up. Now there's just a little clip here. So now you know, don't polish that part. So this is how you figure stuff out. Just you just screw it up. 
I have to call Suncoast in the morning and try to get a new one of these. No, I can't get this piece out. It just pops out. <clears throat> Let's see if I can break it now. Get a little screwdriver. Too expensive. Looks like it's already come out once or twice or five times, who knows? Let me grab one of these dirty waterless wash towels. Shoot, I'm gonna just light this with this thing off. All right, let me get my light. Let's check this. Yeah, it's pretty good. I knock this other side out. So I can do this other side without messing something up. See this? I might just try and polish the whole thing out. <laughs> See what happens. FG400 finishes so well that I don't even think I'm gonna follow with anything. The only thing I'm gonna try and do is, I am gonna try to polish out, since I ruined that plastic piece, I'm gonna try to polish it out completely, see if it, see if we can turn the whole thing the uh, same color. You guys know that's gonna drive me freaking crazy. There's no way that I'm not gonna be able to, I'm gonna be able to leave that alone. So there's still some serious dirt. So with the microfiber, you just need to re-agitate it, you know, to make sure that the stuff doesn't get all gummed up. All right, so let's put this piece back on here and let's really mess it up. <clears throat> I 
It's all scratched up anyway, so I want a new one. Slow my speed down a little bit. Definitely not better. Oh, so that's where all the color was coming from. Well, I threw my green towel on the ground, so now I need to get this off. Yeah. Actually, if I finish off this other section, it looks pretty cool. It looks very, very shiny, very chrome-like. I'm gonna do that. get the idea. Don't polish plastic. Not smart. I decided to do a quick finishing. This is a SF4500. Love these new microfiber tech green towels. Got some polish all over the place. That's why you never polish next to a hole.
So maybe I didn't completely ruin this. All you haters have been waiting for me to screw up. <laughs> yeah, I completely ruined it. <laughs> you know, actually, if I go over it with that, I'm gonna go over this one more time with the SF4500, and I might actually have this thing somewhat dialed in. All right, maybe I didn't ruin it. Actually, it looks good. I got out some, I actually have some Griot's plastic polish that I've never actually used. Some plastic cleaner, it's never used this either. It's probably kind of like Plexus, I would guess. Looks good. So now I'm gonna throw some CarPro eraser on here. Get it prepared for sealant. I don't know why you guys have been waiting for me to screw up. Well, I'll admit I kind of screwed that one up. I probably took whatever the little protective coating that was on there off, so now it's probably pretty much ruined, but. At least I didn't ruin something on the paint of the car, looking on the bright side. Okay, get one of my sealant sponges. Some Sonax polymer net shield. All right, let's finish putting this back together. This baby's sitting there playing with the, uh, the unplugged power cord. Let me sure I preface with unplugged. It's a big thick power cord so she's not going to choke herself. <clears throat> so this thing is pretty. I love how you know, Porsche stuff is designed. It's like, you know, it's 50 years in the making. So they, you know, they think this stuff through. It's just easy to, I mean, especially with the motorsports aspect, it's easy to take stuff apart and put it back together. It's awesome. Just fixing that little gasket. Grommet or whatever you want to call it. There we go. So this thing goes in back first. snap in. You gotta pull this thing through too. Before you do all that, you gotta plug the fans in. This one. Two. Easy there, baby. It's probably easier to take this part off, but it's a little late for that now. Yeah, I misspoke. Yeah. 
forgot to push the fans back on the There we go. Done. And we're complete. And one more towel, wipe the sweat off of here that I just put on it. Nice and shiny and protected. Love it. There you have it. Carbon fiber dialed in. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted here. Wife and kids just got home. So my wife's let me have a couple of days here of screwing around the garage, so making videos. So she uh, walked in, handed me the baby, and said, I'm taking a nap. Mm. I said, OK. Mm. So no, don't mess with the microphone. So just wrapping up, what I did in this little, this little section here is you know, cleaned it off with some waterless wash. Mm. You can't mess with that baby. Clean it off with some waterless wash. Hey, what's up, Bri? Hey, don't don't walk in the middle. Walk on the side. Don't hit my bumper. Come over this way. Come come say hi to everybody on the camera. This baby's messing with the here. This way. This way. So sorry. Clean it with some waterless wash. Detail spray with some clay bar. Then a FG400 with a microfiber cutting pad. <laughs> Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. And then she loves this microphone. And then um, did a finish with SF4000 or 4500 and a, uh, and a foam Rupes pad. Polished out this plastic piece with some plastic polish after I screwed it up. And then I'm gonna put it back together, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Baby, look, look at the camera, look at the camera. Not at the microphone, not at the microphone. Hey, Rye, come say hi to the camera. Rye, stand up and say hi. Eating some Cheetos? Come say hi to everybody. Come on. He doesn't want to. All right, guys, thanks for watching.